Hello, this video is to show you how to take the quizzes in Moodle. So you ha will have six quizzes or exams. Now there's two ways to do it. First way, find them. See this left-hand column? This might move around news, course and instructor information. I'm actually probably going to move that down a little bit. Your calendar, upcoming events. Oh, it says there's a quiz here. If you actually click on this link, it takes you to the quiz and it tells you when it closes. It will also tell you when the quiz opens. This quiz is already open. You have activities where it says quizzes here. And I will just click on this for a minute. And it tells you the week that it's found in. So week three, four, five, six, or week three, week six, week nine, week 12, and week 16. When it closes, this is very important. You have to be finished by that time. You can't start it at 11.58. It will automatically close it at 11.59. So you want to start well before the time that it closes. And it has a link you could actually click on. Now the third way you could find it is you scroll down and my computer is thinking until week three, which is our first test. So week two, sorry, this is taking so long. Week three, I have in red print, there's a quiz this week, pay attention. And I tell you what it's on, it's on the Moodle books in, chap in weeks one and two. So I base it on the books. Now my PowerPoints are based on the books also, but I base the test more on the books than on the PowerPoint. The PowerPoint has extra, some extra information in it. And you should probably go through the review material. The review material is based on the books and the PowerPoint, and you should be able to answer the questions before you take the test. It is open note, but you're not going to have enough time to look up every single answer. You have about 30 minutes, I think I actually made it out of 40 minutes to take the test. That's not enough time to look up everything. Some students try, and they do miserably on it. I can actually tell the students who look up every answer because they take the entire time. So you're going to need to know things. I expect you still have notes, so what I suggest is go through the books and have the key concepts on each page written out in front of you so you go, oh, I know this, and you could have reference. Now down here, I repeat chapters one and six, weeks one and two. So I'll repeat over and over again when it is because some students are still unclear or they're confused. And if you are unclear and you're confused, please email me. Again, I'm trying to make it as easy as possible, but still there is confusion. There's 77 of you, so you will see. So I'm gonna click on it. Some students are afraid to click on the link. Nothing bad will happen. It takes you to a page. It explains the quiz. It's on chapter one and chapter six, weeks one and two. Again, I repeat it over and over again. So this is a good place in case you've missed it, where it is. But again, if you're confused, email me. I say when it opens, as you can see, this has been open a very long time. And when it closes again, be finished. And it'll have a button. Do you want to take this? Now, if I click this, I'm going to show you your quiz questions. So let's go to a different class. So here's an exam. I will click on it. Here's the description of the exam. It talks about the time limit. And you will have a button that lets you start it. And when you click on it, it says, it is time. Do you, are you sure you want to start the exam? If you, and it tells you how long in the box up here. So, sure, let's start it. So the way this is set up, the way your quizzes are set up, is that there'll be 10 questions per page. This one is just one big long page. That is really overwhelming. So I'm actually gonna have to go into this quiz and make it so it's paged. Now you can navigate between questions here. This lets you jump to questions. I suggest just answering each question as it comes up because you might miss a question and you want to try to get as many possible points. There are no penalties for wrong answers on the test. And if it's something like this, this is a radio button, there's one answer. So I click that, I could change my answer and it doesn't let you submit it up. 
used to let you submit them and save them. I like that feature, but it doesn't exist anymore. So retina, da 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 da. And, aha, a different type of question. Now notice, it's out of three points. So each one of these is half a point instead of one point. So the multiple choice is one point. And this is a question where you're just choosing the answer. And each choice is used once. And the reason it has to be like that is because it wants each answer to be matched up with a unique answer. And I can't do it. So it's if I have two answers that, like here, cochlea, cochlea, even if it was both the cochlea, what would happen is it would say, this one's not matched right and mark it wrong. So each answer is only used once. Now there's also something called a radio box. That would be a box here. And set, you don't see select only one, and you see boxes, and I will say select four answers, or select six answers, or select two answers. I'll tell you how many answers I'm expecting to be selected, but that doesn't look like there's any radio boxes. So I hope this overview lets you know what to expect on the quizzes, and have a good evening. Thank you.